Welcome back everyone. Following on after uh, animating our nose gear here, uh, I thought we would do a quick video on animating our gear doors to go along with that. And so let's get right into it. I'm going to shift A. We're going to add an empty. Go ahead and grab that. Um, and we're going to put it over here. I want to line it up with the hinge joint of our door. So I'm just going to do that here as best I can. And um, let's see if we can't get this animated real quick. So you see here, I'm just trying to get things lined up between these two hinge points just so that our animation looks fairly smooth when the doors are moving. That seems like that's looking fairly close. All right, I'm going to go ahead and call this empty um, nose door right. We're going to add a data ref to it, our deploy ratio data ref, with that uh, zero index. And um, then I'm on the uh, I'm up here on our the beginning animation of our landing gear retract. Okay, real quick, I'm going to um, let's see. Let's just duplicate that. So Shift D and come up here and grab it on the X over here. I had a little bit of rotation here, so let's rotate that. The opposite. Try to get that lined up like that. All right. So now we've got those. We want to um, go ahead and parent. So we can take this door and Control P to parent to that, and we can grab our other door. Grab the other empty, control P and parent there. All right, now um, this landing gear is the, the doors are closed when the gear is all the way down and when the gear is all the way up. And so let's uh, make that work. Now you remember if you watched the last video, we put uh, two keyframes where the gear was in its down and, and where the gear was in its up positions and we're going to use those now to make this door animation work. So let's grab um, we've got a hold of one of these empties we're going to jump to that one frame we're going to go ahead and rotate on the Y and I think we will go 80 degrees for now and I'll do that to this one as well. Rotate on that Y, 80 degrees. Okay, now we'll jump to our gear up. What we want on this frame here, we're gonna come over here and just tell it to key that rotation. We'll do that for both sides. And then we'll go to our final frame, frame there. And we can again rotate on the empties Y. And that will now be minus 80. And we can grab this other one, rotate on the Y. 80. 
All right, so now if we turn that off, you'll see doors open, and then the gear begins to move. Gear is down, doors close. All right, now to make that work, we've got to put in our values over here on the data ref. Uh, remember, so if we grabbed an old one here, so we're at a value of one. So we just want to make those match. Value of one, save it. Value of one, save it. We're going to come right here. This value is now going to be that 0 0.9. Save. 0 0.9, save. Come all the way to here. This one will be our 0 0.1. Save. And our last frame here of zero and zero. All right, and that should be all that there is to it. So let's uh, go ahead and export that. It's going to take a second. I should have hidden the, the landing gear since I didn't actually need to re-export the landing gear, but that's all right. Okay, it's exported. We can jump into the sim here and reload our aircraft. Jump outside there, and if I unpause... There we are, we've got our gear um, is up, and there goes our gear coming down. Now I am noticing just a little bit of goofiness in that uh, rotation there, and here is the point where um, I would say that it's because I've failed to set that back in Blender. So if I go ahead and pause that and we jump back here, uh, the solution to that is to fix this here. And so um, just keep that in mind. If you're seeing just a little bit of wonkiness, you need to either um, switch it here to your uh, whatever that is, WXYZ. Um, otherwise, if you're on that and you're getting goofiness, you might try switching it back. All right, hope that helps.